Costco. You know, it's a busy one. I'm in the last spot right now. Got my little crew with their raincoats on for our weekly Costco visit. Should we buy some snacks today? Yeah. Should we try some samples? Yeah. Chicken bake first, right? All right. All right, let's get going. Thank God for these double kid carts. It'll be cool. They had one for seven kids. Seven kids. I always say seven kids. <laughs> I meant five kids, but yeah. I'll take it. Two in this cart. It is so interesting to me that they even decided to do this. They had to have done the research. And guess what? That research was smart. I've been shopping at Costco pretty religiously in the last six months and a lot more often, especially since starting to vlog these. And one of the things I've noticed because I'm really documenting my whole process and the prices is just where are the best deals and is Costco actually a good deal when it's all said and done? Because sometimes I don't think Costco is the best deal, even though you're buying in bulk. So usually they give you a better value because of the volume. In some cases, you might be actually getting a better deal just going to the regular grocery store. And I'll show you a few examples of that. First example of something that I don't think is a good deal are these huge bags and containers of salads and vegetables. Even something like this, okay? So this spinach is definitely a good deal, but only if you use all of it. See, the thing is sometimes we don't use the whole thing and sometimes there's a little bit left we waste it and we literally throw it away but a little trick that we've started to utilize and i've noticed judy does this every time is she washes all the vegetables and then she gives all the vegetables a little bit more air so she'll literally open up that package and then that way it doesn't rot as quickly it's interesting how just the air of the fridge will keep it kind of dry which makes sense we just never thought to do it and we've used it so even though I said this isn't a good deal, we've been making a lot of smoothies, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get this. But even that spinach, I usually get it, just little bits of it at the co-op grocery store where I can buy it in bulk, so just as much as I need. See, that's the key. If you can shop more often, then sometimes going to the grocery store for vegetables is a better deal. If you can only shop once in a while and you know for sure you're going to eat everything you buy, then of course, Costco's still the place to go. Something we eat all of are these blueberries. Oh yeah, that one's calling my name right here. And we'll go through this whole thing for sure. Definitely the best price for blueberries. Unless you're at the farmer's market, sometimes you can get a better deal there. In a lot of cases though, you're still not getting a good deal in terms of uh, pricing at the farmer's market. You'd think you would, but it can actually be quite expensive. But I would argue the product, higher quality, way better. So kind of give and take. It's all about balance. And what's your goal? For me, when I'm at Costco, I want the best deal at the highest quality possible. When I go to the farmer's market, it's purely Daddy, highest quality product, prices so strawberry. secondary. Strawberries? Okay, let's get strawberries. One thing though, is even if you're getting a good deal, if the produce or the fruits don't taste good, then in my opinion, it's not worth getting. You just have to have an eye for it. They look really good. There's some vegetables that are a good deal and that will keep, that don't go bad, at least if you put it in the fridge, are these bag carrots. So for this six pound bag of carrots, $5.79. That is probably the best deal of carrots you will get. And we use these for so many different dishes. Juicing, of course, but even curry, uh, a lot of soup stocks. And yeah, they'll just keep in your fridge for at least two weeks. When it comes to produce, it's what's going to store well and are you going to eat all of it right away. If it stores well, Costco's the way to go. If it doesn't, if it wilts or rots quickly, just go to a regular grocery store. Go there more often for those things. And we've been doing that a lot lately. Even though we have seven people to feed, something you don't see very often. Organic watermelons, I'm for this. Judy's always requesting watermelons, but I try to get them organic. These are organic, so that's perfect. Almost never do they have organic cantaloupe, but Judy did insist, so I'm gonna get these anyways. No big deal once in a while getting them. Conventionally grown. It's been about 10 minutes. I haven't heard a peep from these girls, really. That's something I always get is bananas, as long as they're looking right. And these ones, looking good. Lately, we've been using these for smoothies, green smoothies with that spinach. Now, when it comes to bread, we just don't buy any of it, but not because it's not a good deal. It's because we're really, really lucky and grateful that my mom cooks us sourdough. 
literally every other day, I'd say. And uh, we used to buy croissants from Costco. And I'll tell you, when it comes to croissants, that is definitely the best deal, but we don't need bread. This whole box is $5.99. Our favorite bakery where we get our favorite croissants, every croissant is $5, which is crazy now that I think about it. Now I kind of want to buy this. We love that bakery, but $5 for one croissant compared to five bucks for this whole thing, it's the ingredients aren't different. Now, the quality is better too. I mean, it's gonna be flakier. Uh, it's gonna probably be healthier for you too. Maybe they're even proofing it or letting it ferment. Maybe it's like a sourdough croissant. But oh, man, five bucks for that whole box. And you can freeze croissants. We've done it before. And I feel that Costco and probably a lot of big businesses do this. Maybe they sell it at a loss, knowing it's something that'll pull people in and you're gonna pay more money for the other stuff, like meat. Okay, I've logged this quite a bit. Their steaks really are so competitive, but I'll tell you this, you probably save the least amount of money when you're buying steaks compared to those croissants or like a hot dog, you know? It's all about strategy for, for them. Avocados, good deal, but these are super ripe, so you have to use them today. Maybe I'll do a guac. And because we eat a lot of avocados for avocado toast or making a guac, definitely a good place to buy it. It seems to me that even the source of avocados for Costco compared to like a regular grocery store or even the co-op might be the same place. So the quality is the same. And that's purely a price thing for me. I'm not trying to get avocados by any certain place, especially because everything's shipped from outside of the area. Costco is a place to get avocados. Definitely a good deal is chicken and mozzarella ravioli because it's so convenient and easy to cook. And this expires June 8th, which is over a month away. All right, the first temptation of the day, bacon and white cheddar sausage. That sounds hella bomb. 10 bucks, well, that ain't bad. That's a good deal for sure. Chicken, especially organic chicken, is just way too competitive. Like for example, these young chickens. I've been buying whole chickens lately. 30 bucks for this whole pack. That means each one is 15 bucks. Typically you're paying at least $20 for these, but you do have to buy two. So that's the only thing you're committing. And I don't want to commit to that. So usually when I buy a whole, I buy it from the grocery store. But what is very convenient and we do use and just freeze what we don't use, chicken thighs. This whole thing is 30 bucks. That's $10 a package skinless, moanless. This is more of a convenience thing, but definitely priced better than anywhere else. Definitely when it comes to dairy products, such as milk, can't beat Costco. Daddy. We need more whipped cream? Yeah. All right, 12 bucks for each one of these, and these are giant cans, but back to the milk. So this box has four half gallon whole milks in it which equates to about, what, $4.60 each half gallon. So I actually don't think this is the best deal for milk when it comes to organic because they don't have just regular whole organic milks. This is definitely a good deal. Look, you get two of these. You get two of these for six bucks. That's a good deal, but it's not organic. And when it comes to our dairy, we almost always, always buy organic milk. So now we don't buy eggs from here but I've already showed you guys the math. Way, way, way better deal. If you eat all those. Kerrygold, definitely the best deal right here at Costco, especially when it's on sale. We're gonna get two. I've been also getting some of the unsalted stuff too. I enjoy shopping for food. It's legit a passion of mine, even before I started vlogging like this. And I shop at different locations. So regular grocery stores, co-ops, farmer's markets, Costco, obviously. And so you start noticing where you get the best deals on certain products. I think that's really important. So in the comments, you tell me what's kind of your hacks. Where do you go to get a good deal? What specific products in what specific places do you find you get the best price? Because I want to know. And guess what? It helps everybody. If I really want a good deal, I should probably get into couponing, but that's too much of a time commitment. There needs to be an app or something for coupons that just gives you that exact coupon without having to find it. We need wipes. Wine? We need wipes. Oh, wipes? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Mommy needs makeup wipes, okay. Diapers, paper towels, anything for the kitchen, cleaning stuff. I mean, especially if you have a big family, lots of kids, and you can just store stuff. See, that's another thing too. You have to have a place to store it. I'm assuming there's a lot of people that don't shop at Costco, don't buy things here, because where are you gonna put all this stuff? I, I, half my garage is literally used to store things. A quarter of that is used for 
just things I buy at Costco, which is a good deal. I'll show you though. One of the things that we just ran out of is probably one of my favorite things to buy here is pasta sauce. And it's arguably one of the best brands, best tasting. And you can get it here at Costco. You can scan the QR code there to get all the info. Nice. We're definitely going to grab one of these. Thank you. Thank you. Normally we don't buy it in bulk, but grass fed yogurt. If they're liking it too. Do you like it? Yeah. What is this? Is this vanilla? That's plain. <laughs> Girls aren't big into plain, but. By the way, not necessarily a good deal because they are expensive, but these Mandarin Jellies, bomb, bomb, bomb. Normally I don't get to the desserts or these snacks because the girls eat them before I get to them, but those, love them. We've got emergency here. Girls, they don't have brows. Last time I got this right here, the organic tomato herbs and spices, I think, but normally we get the rows. Oh, a Sicilian eggplant. Okay, I think we're gonna have to get that. $8.99 for two bottles, definitely a good deal. If you see the rows, stock up. That's a solid little base. Even when I do, um, um, Oh, you saw it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Somewhere in the two pack. I, I can't tell you exactly. I think it's an empty house. Perfect. Appreciate it. All of us Costco shoppers, we're in this together. All right, we're rocking and rolling here, baby. Got a little nervous. Judy says stock up. I think I'm just going to get a whole, whole uh, tray of these. I wasn't kidding. A whole tray of them. There's what? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Three dollars off. Limit of five. That went from an emergency to a sale opportunity. So thank you, random stranger who saved me. See, that's the one problem with Costco. Sometimes it's not clear where things are and sometimes you need to look around. Kind of another strategy of Costco's. So I guess the lesson is don't assume it's gone just because it's not in the place that you expect it. And if it's not, it might be on sale and on the end cap. Do you like shopping for snacks and samples? I've ranted about spices lately, and of course you assume that they have the best prices here at Costco, but a lot of spices lose their potency after you know, a certain amount of time. And the problem is with a lot of these, you might not use it. You might not actually get the most out of it and like the vegetables. You end up throwing it away or replacing it without actually finishing it. So it seems like a good deal, but it's not. My recommendation, buy spices in bulk where you can. Our co-op, which is our tiny little hippie grocery store, lets you buy it in bulk, so just what you need. And it's a way better price than if you were buying it in the glass bottles. Trader Joe's is a good place for spices too, even uh, organic spices, but I never buy spices from Costco. I do buy salt and pepper though, for sure. Never, ever, never, ever. It's something I do buy though. This QP deep roasted sesame seed um, salad dressing, very, very good. But this with uh, thinly sliced cabbage that's put into an ice bath for 45 minutes, great way to eat cabbage. Let's check the list. Milk, juice, we've got juice. Watermelon, we got that cantaloupe. Makeup wipes, got carrots, rouse. I think we got it all. Really good deal. I can't even remember last time Judy didn't buy the Kirkland brand makeup remover. So get that. We're kind of loaded up now, girls. You want to say hi? Go ahead, say hi. Hi, little mommy. Hi, baby. What are you doing? I got a I, I Okay, then. They've been really good, honey. Hi, mommy. Bye. Hi, bye. Bye, Leah. Okay, let's get juice boxes for us. Kirkland brand juice boxes. A good deal and unfortunately i like the honest brand but their juice boxes no boy no so 12 bucks for 40 juice boxes i don't even know how you beat that let's see how much all this costs us she is still working on that same yogurt free sample this is the easiest it's ever been so the last thing that i didn't get that i'm not going to worry about because i don't want to get out of here is onions the thing with the onions though it's 50 50. they're definitely the best price especially the sweet walla walla onions love those even though onions do last a long time i tend to find one or two that rot by the time i get to the end so you have to be careful if you're gonna do a whole bunch of caramelized onions getting a big bag at costco good deal oh, dang it now this is a backup. 
This is crazy. That was our weekly visit to Costco. Hopefully you guys got something out of that. I know that I learned a lot from you guys in the comments area, especially right now with food being so expensive and everything just costing so much, so crazy. Oh, by the way, that, that was about $300 even. But, and we stocked up on a lot of, a lot of stuff like those. That Rouse, $3 off though, I'm there for it. So hey, FYI, if you guys wanna try that Rouse, it's $3 off right now. Uh, limit of five. I would buy all five because that stuff stores really well. Where do you guys go to find the best deals? What's your tips? I would love to learn from you guys. You're doing such a good job being patient here. Bye. All right. Talk to you guys later.